Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Russell and thank you very much for joining me. Now, as some of you are aware, I have had some problems with the ASI 2600 Mono. I have had the oil leak on the sensor, but I'm gonna bring you a bit of an update today and hopefully a permanent fix for this problem. So like I said, hopefully I have a permanent fix to the oil leak, which is annoying so many ZWO customers at the moment. Now ZWO themselves say that it only impacts 1% of their cameras. I think the number that I've seen reported online is uh, significantly higher than 1%. Um, but anyway, they did finally get back to me via Facebook. Um, I had emailed them a number of times, um, but via Facebook, they were more helpful. So I posted a few things on um, a couple of public groups, and I also sent them a, a message directly via Facebook Messenger, and they did get back to me. So their solution was to send the camera away to be fixed. Now they have partnered up with 365 Astronomy, um, a great company in the UK who are offering the fix. And they planned to replace the thermal pad, which is the part that is causing the oil leak. So I sent the camera away. Um, in fact, Zoltan at 365 Astronomy was absolutely fantastic. I called him up. Um, I told him that ZWA had agreed um, to pay for the fix and he arranged a courier to come to my house to collect the camera. He um, was in contact the whole time telling me what was going on and then he sent it back to me. So a huge thanks to Zoltan and the guys at 365 Astronomy. Um, you were brilliant throughout this. Um, and when sp speaking to Zoltan on the phone, he made it clear that um, it wasn't their solution, so they are just following the instructions that ZWA sent them. So this is not something that they have come up with, um, but they have just agreed to produce this fix on behalf of ZWA. So it's a fix that ZWA come up with, and um, in the UK, 365 Astronomy are offering that. So I sent the camera away to them. Um, I have it back now, and it looks brilliant. Uh, it looks very clean. I will have to, um, I'll show you a close up of the sensor. It looks um, as good as new. I will have to hope that the leak does not return. But I did get a response um, from Zoltan and the team at ZWO. Um, they did tell me exactly what's been done and what um, parts have been replaced. So I'll read this letter out to you now. So when I sent the camera away to uh, 365 Astronomy, I did ask for a letter in reply, um, which explains exactly what has been done. And that's because I wanted to produce this video because I've had significant interest in the sensor leak. So thankfully they did reply. Um, so thank you very much guys. Um, and I thought I would read this letter out to you now. And I will put a copy of this letter into the description of this video. Okay, so the letter reads, Dear Mr. Discombe, thank you for your inquiry about the processes and spares we use to rectify the problem with your camera. Unfortunately, I cannot elaborate further than below as I am limited by a non-disclosure agreement. So I think it's really interesting that ZWO have a non-disclosure in place with 365. Um, I'm not sure why, but there is a non-disclosure agreement in place. Anyway, the letter continues. ZWO have informed us of the oil on the sensor problem, which has been traced back to the heat conducting pads or the thermal pads that lie between the sensor board and the cooler assembly. A small number have leaked, which has found its way onto the sensor. Your camera has been dismantled, the old pads removed and all accessible areas of the sensor board have been cleaned to remove remaining residue. Following this, new thermal pads have been fitted and the camera has been tested. The desiccant tablets have been dried and refitted as they have been exposed for quite a long period during the repair. The sensor surface has been initially cleaned by DSLR of swabs and fluid and the final cleaning completed with a first contact polymer, which we highly recommend. Whilst every care is taken during assembly, it is not possible to guarantee that every single mote of dust is removed from the sensor chamber and you should continue to take and use calibration images to allow for this. 
It is not impossible for a few dust specks to appear, especially after transport. We would not recommend attempting repairs without first contacting your supplier, as you may invalidate your guarantee by doing so. We are assured by ZWO that the replacement thermal pads will not cause this issue again. And we hope that you are now able to return to our fantastic hobby. Regards, 365 Workshop. So thank you very much to the team at 365 for taking the time to actually write back and explaining what's happened. Um, I do think it's really interesting that there is a non-disclosure agreement in place. Um, but hopefully this has now solved the issue and ZW has assured us that um, the new thermal pads will not leak. So obviously I'll keep you updated um, and I'll let you know if I have this issue again. Hopefully, touch wood, I don't. Um, which is great. So again, thank you very much to 365 Astronomy for offering this service. If anyone has this problem, if anyone has the 2600 camera or any other camera that does leak, I would highly recommend that you ask ZWA for a fix. I would recommend that you send it back to them, get that thermal pad replaced. Because in my experience and everything that I have seen on the forums online, that issue is likely to return and you will end up with more oil on your sensor. It's highly annoying when it ruins the night of astrophotography, um, but also it's just really inconvenient to having to open up the chamber and expose the sensor to clean um, every few months or whenever that leak returns. So don't settle for ZWO telling you to clean the sensor, send it back, get it fixed. That solution is available um, and I would highly recommend that you go down that route. But hopefully you found that update informative. If you do have any questions, please ask in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.